Hey everybody, Vasco here. Welcome to another video on Psy. Nice view, huh? Well, I'm in the middle of a mountain here, if you can tell. And I got some new stuff to show off. First off, the elephant in the room, we got some new models for the CADs. Each one is going to have its own model with some alterations right now. They're all the same, with a bit of a different color. That's just, you know, beta. And the little blue part, this also changes depending on which colorizer you have. So over here I have parts to create one, right? And this one is going to be red, as you can see. It's red, right? Now, you might have noticed I don't have a Psy bar yet, and it's because I'm in the new world, and I haven't leveled up yet. And I also want to show off a new feature, which is this, right? This here lets you know, lets the, lets the mod know what level you got in a old world. And then when you load up a new world, it says, hey, do you want to go back to that level? And you can just, you know, yes. And now we are back, and we can learn all the things that what we had back then, right? Like all the way up to here. Now currently I have loop casting, I just built loop casting to level up, you know the gist. These two are new, greater infusion and tool casting. And so is elemental arts, but I'm gonna show off all these things in a moment. So to my left, I have tools, right? I have a pickaxe, a shovel, an ax, and a sword. And you might tell, ask me, what is so cool about these tools? Well, if I grab one, you can see that they have a socketable slot or three socketable slots and one that is always empty. If I put it in here, you can see there's three slots. And you can give them spells. So, for example, the pickaxe, whenever I would break a block, it would cast the spell I would give it. So, this 3x3 one is almost the same as the one from the second video. If you hadn't watched that yet, I suggest you do. I changed some things around. We used to get a ray trace, now I'm using select a block broken, which gives you the position of the block you broke. And then there's also selected a block broken side, which is kind of like um, the axial ray trace, gets you the side of the block you broke. Then all the rest are just the same, just basically copied it from the old video. Over here, same thing, decapitator, you get the block broken, breaks eight up, three breaking. For the sword, whenever you would attack a mob, you can use select to attack target, that gives you the mob you attacked, and then you can do something. So this is the levy sword. It is going to make any mob you attack fly up in the air. So let's take care of all these things. I'm going to grab my axe as well. I don't need the shovel, but I'll grab the axe. I'm going to grab some bolts. I'm going to make the levy sword, the 3x3, three three, the decapitator, and over here the mainland spell, which is just a simple add motion. It's going to help me get over there. All right, so for the pickaxe, 3x3, three three, for the axe, the decapitator, for the sword, levy sword, and for the CAD, mainland now there is also one more thing i have added to the programming system if we go over here to mainland you can see there's two new buttons in the corner export to clipboard and import from clipboard this gives you some text that is equal to what the spell has so for example if i go here now this is my stream setup so it has stream stuff in the bottom don't worry about that if i bring this over here you can see this is the output of the mainland spell it's a big little string, not not little, just a big string of JSON. You can then put on a website or whatever, and then someone else can copy and put them in a world. This one over here, I'm going to import. So import from clipboard. And we now have a bone meal around spell. Let me go back to Minecraft. And this is making use of one of the tricks from Elemental Arts. This is trick overgrow. This is equivalent to bone meal. And there's also a operator random, which gets a number between zero and the given number exclusively. So it gives one between, it gives you one between zero and nine. So no, between zero and eight because nine is exclusive. So that's going to be useful because it is going to help me with that plantation over there, All right? So let's put this in our CAD. I'm going to have another bullet for it, and this one is going to be a circle type bullet. Now let's add this in here. I'm also going to grab some zombies because I am going to need them to show off the levy sword. All right, let's go over here, take some damage, use up a lot of Psy, and let's show off some of these spells. Let's start with the Psy Metal one, the three by three. This is doing exactly as you'd, ex as you'd expect. Now, take a look at my Psy Bar. If you see, it is slowly going down. It goes down in bursts. That is because the pickaxe is regenerating slowly using my Psy Energy. It takes a little bit if every few seconds, right? Now, of course, when I cast the spell, it's also going to take 
uh, Psy that uh, is the cost of the spell. If I drop my CAD, I can't cast any spells because this requires me to have a CAD to do the calculations and all that stuff. All right, now let's show off the axe. Axe is the very basic three capitator. Does exactly as you'd expect and gives me achievements because it's a new world. There you go. Axe and some stuff. If you don't want anything, you can just disable it and there you go. No three capitator. Oh, this is a good opportunity to test out the levy sword as well. Right, so you can hit a mob and they go flying about. You, you saw nothing. Now I want to show you the bone meal around spell. Now you can see that I have a little plantation here. I'm gonna make a spell circle right in the center here. It's gonna be red because my CAD is red. I took damage because I am out of psi. I used it for the sword and for regenerating. But now you can see it's bone milling all over the place. If I do it again, I'm probably gonna take damage again. Okay, I took a bit more damage than I expected. And I crashed the game. Alright, see ya!